Underneath the Fort Garry Bridge, the ice is melting. Looking down, you can see open water, the result of more than 220 million liters of untreated sewage leaking into the Red River. How much more goes in depends on how much water people like Mila Sailor can serve. We can do it, but, you know, we are living two people only here, so we use very little water, basically, so we have minimum consumption. The water reduction request applies to 10 neighborhoods. St. Norbert, Fort Richmond, Richmond West, Waverly West, Bridgewater Center, Linden Woods, Linden Ridge, White Ridge, Waverly Heights, and the University of Manitoba. Tim Shanks is the director of Water and Waste. Things that our customers can do, delay laundry day a few days, um, you know, uh, only run a full load of dishes in your dishwasher, anything you can do to, you know, take a shorter shower, that sort of thing. Crews have been working on this bypass system here at the Fort Garry Bridge for more than two weeks now. The city originally found problems with the pipes carrying sewage under the Red River back in November. On February 5th, they started working on the bypass system, and two days later, the 90-centimeter pipe failed. David Armstrong lives in St. Norbert. The infrastructure is getting too old and uh, even more better planning and maintenance has to be done to replace this, uh, an aging infrastructure. The impacts of the leak go far beyond the city limits. The river will carry the waste north to Lake Winnipeg. It's so upsetting. It's so disconcerting. Um, this should not be happening. Um, our lake is, uh, is at risk anyways, and to have this kind of raw sewage pouring into it is just not okay. Winnipeg Water and Waste Chair Brian Mays says the city is working on a long-term solution. And that's obviously not a viable long-term solution uh, when you're saying to people, hey, can you, can, you, can you just shower instead of having a bath? This is not a long-term solution, it's a short-term measure. The city currently has one pump working on the bypass system, but it's not enough to keep up with the flow. Crews are working on getting a second pump working within the next few days. That system will likely be in place well into next year as the city works on a permanent solution. Cameron McLean, CBC News, Winnipeg.